Okay, everybody, we're going to take a look at the PPG Minimapper version 1. Okay, and it's significant differences between this and the Wave Mapper. Okay, so first of all, we shall go to the factory sound bank. Okay, here we go. And we'll just change some of these sounds out. Now, first of all, it's similar. You can move your maps around and stuff like that. So, also it has the keyboard is overlaid now, so. Like this. But the very cool thing is that you can make the keyboard transparent, which means that you can move your maps around inside. And also, let's just take the keyboard off. Let's just set this as an instrument. Go to guitar, put that down there, put the keyboard back. You can see with the keyboard transparent, you can just pick it up and move it around inside there. So that's one of the main differences. Secondly, these have little buttons here which make these things move automatically with a better with a better sound. So if we press this little button here, first of all you'll see that this starts moving down. We can select that one and that'll start moving down. Move faster obviously if you use the the uh, gyroscope. Okay, this one here, the third one, which is like magic, I think it's called. This will, if you tilt it, move all sorts of stuff all over the place. Okay, obviously it works. So it's great for creating strange, weird and wonderful sounds, as well as some really nice lead sounds and stuff. But anyway, that's, there, there's a couple of differences there. This one now, we have uh, an arpeggiator. Not with that sound, we don't know. And with this arpeggiator, it will let you record up to 16 notes. So if we hit record and go... It doesn't really matter what speed you play because the synth sorts it out. Okay, you can do that with any sound. Also, that you can sync it with your MIDI clock. So if you've got like Drum Jam or DM1 or whatever, you can you can sync the speeds up. So that's cool. So the next one has a, an audio recorder, so you can record and then you can copy to the general pasteboard like that okay also it has controls for the keyboard here so if we unlock it there we can make it smaller and then lock it back up and then also we can sort of just have it as a sort of standard piano type keyboard next one here and this is very cool what they've done here is they'll give you kind of XY joy padding, you know, sort of called chaos electric type things and stuff that's things. Now, if we have our keys on um, and uh, transparent, we can move in between them like this. So, okay. 
course, you can alter the arpeggiated exactly the same way. So, Exoda, we've run through those there. Okay, so now we go into settings. This is where you can set up your sound quality, your overall tuning, your pitch wheel, your audio mix. You can set your gyroscope on or off, system volume, how many voices are playing. Okay, so cool. Next one is your MIDI setup page, which is fairly self-explanatory. You, your ports in, your MIDI out, and uh, your, your mode. And then if you're, you're clocked in with Jum Jam, you'll be able to see the tempo settings and things like that there. And that's just an about. Okay, so. What is pretty cool is also if we go to something like let's just go back. Let's find the let's find the more. So on an effect type thing, we can I think just um I'm not sure where we do this actually, but it might be not there. No, I need to go back to the map. You can, it has a, a, a map record, and this is really cool. So if we set that going now, if I hit this, you'll notice up here that as soon as I move this, it goes to one, two, three, four, five, and five, six, seven. Now, what that's just done is record all those different settings. So if we now go into here and I go to map record, you will see that I have just made one, two, three, four, five different sounds. Okay, so there are. And of course now you can rename them and send them off or delete the, the, the rubbish ones. But it's a really quick way to generate presets that is. Now, another thing as well, now I'm not really 100% sure about to do this, but we'll have a go. Let's just get back to our factories. Preset. And we can, if you see here, you can copy bang, paste bang, or we can go to wave map. Well, let's just change, because I haven't tried this yet, so let's just change this sound out a little bit. Uh, make it okay. Oh, I'm st still on. See, I've just made. Fifteen. So what you have to do to stop that is close map record, and you'll stop recording new presets. Otherwise, you'll end up with hundreds of things. Okay. So, but there's a slightly altered sound there. I think what did we do? Go there, open this there, and go to Wave Mapper. And it's opened at Hiccup Flute, which is the preset I used to adjust. So then we can make similar adjustments. So that's that. So basically, it's great if you're mobile and you're out and about and you've just got your iPod or your iPhone. You can select the different sounds and stuff and then store them and then make new presets and what have you. Play with the arpeggiator. When you get back, you can transfer it all over to Wave Mapper and carry on. So it's it's pretty good in that respect. I quite like it. And I like the fact that you get the... controls which also I think I'm not sure oh there you go you can set them to do all the different things on this side as well so you're not limited to just what they've programmed in all in all quite a good program I think and a good addition to the PBG series okay later